now what we will do is we will go here and change the loss equation we did this uh, one time with the square one time with absolute so let's do it with absolute only so for that we remove this torch absolute and here torch absolute and we will just put it square which is will do the same effect now real if you realize like here torch uh, will the 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 values here uh, will completely the, the the actual equation got changed however what we care about is the is the um how can i say that the 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 final thing which is if this number become bigger we are far uh, from the solution if it's become less we are uh, near the solution so with that this number we have to uh, define it in a way that with the optimization going that we are getting closer to the solution of course i tested many weights and i think what works well is this one and maybe this one is a little bit put it minus four is better but let's see the effect on this network um i, I will i will do it some i will put it or okay i will just recalculate it but just remember something here you see the first one is here the second one looks like this third one looks like this let's try um okay let's try to put it in different location so this is going to be our first solution our second uh, solution or second um, uh, network is here this one i will just take it just remove the absolute here keep it absolute yeah just keep it absolute and this one we will uh, do this calculation okay so let's do this computation to do so we just restart everything maybe this one we don't need it so we'll just this is our old network and put it in here just this guy like this and we rerun and let's see the effect if we can see there is a difference this is the exact solution and now we are going into the network itself in here and yeah so the first solution same but see the difference like second solution in the past it was a little bit converging much a little bit slower so here because we put squares we change the loss function we have a more aggressive uh, training so you see second time second 5000 uh, steps we have a better one and now here is a little bit better but it's not really dra dramatically better and at this point of time it's really following very well so the loss function a uh, change is is and still is going by the way uh, it's it's really good like we have now already at this time step we already uh, very much converged even better than the uh, than before the reason i did this because i want to show that changing the loss function will change the performance and we have to be careful with that especially if we're doing like a little bit more complex uh, like problems such as fluid dynamics or structural analysis and so on but but also it shows that how we have power on the equation itself it's finished i think no it's still going we have power to actually to sh to to actually control which part of the equation we need to have a, a more strong uh, effect on our solution um, by basically controlling these weights that will control the loss and it shows that um, we can define the loss function in a multiple ways so it's not only one way to define the loss function 
as long as it satisfies the physics of the problem. So as we can see here, this solution is done by the neural network only. We have a neural network, it took initial condition, boundary condition, in this case only initial condition, and then we followed the same equation or the physics equation and we got an answer. This is how we can solve a problem using pens. If we train the network on multiple initial conditions, mul on multiple parameters of k and mu um, um, and even mass, we can have a network that can be general network that can solve all of these problems. We're not going to do that in here and most probably this network is too simple, but uh, basically it is possible. So next time, let's uh, check the effect of the actually changing this neural network so far we have two hidden layers let's uh, let's say I add one layer and see the effect and uh, yeah with that we finished and let's go to the next class